We are going to make some cinnamon maple glazed butternut squash. Start with our squash. We're going to cut the top off, cut the bottom off, and then cut it in half. Okay. Next, we're going to peel our squash. All right, plan B, because as you saw, my peeler just took a dump on me. So we're going to peel it with a knife. So we're just going to come and slice down the sides and take all of our skin off. Go ahead and cut. All right, once we have got our squash all peeled, we have cut the base in half. Now we need to get the seeds and the stringy connective material out. So, all right. Once we've got all of the seeds out, we're gonna cut into about one inch slices. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make about one inch cubes, okay? And they don't have to be perfectly even. We'll... All right, we've got our butternut squash all cut up in the bowl now. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil, about a tablespoon and a half of maple syrup, Going to be the equal amount to the olive oil. We got a fresh cinnamon grinder here. Um, you could use anywhere from a quarter to three quarters of a teaspoon. All depends on how cinnamony you would like your squash. We're going to add a little salt, equivalent of a couple of teaspoons, and a little bit of pepper, probably about a teaspoon's worth of pepper. Okay. And we're just going to give this a good toss in our bowl. Okay. Straggler, catch it. Okay, now we're going to dump this out onto a pre greased sheet pan. And what we want to do here is we want to separate our squash all out so that it doesn't touch other pieces, don't touch each other. Because when we cook this in a 400 degree oven, we're going to get some caramelization going on from that maple syrup, uh, which is going to give us a nice, good coating and add to our flavor. Our squash is now roasted for about 20 minutes in the oven. We're just going to turn it over and put it back in for about another 20 minutes to finish cooking. All right, guys, after another 20 minutes in the oven, we're all ready. Got a nice caramelization going on. So we're going to go ahead and scoop up our butternut squash for a side dish. There you go. Enjoy.